Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I want to do a real quick review of my new watch. Now this is the Orient Flight RAAC0H0B10A. That is the model number, and I have to say it's rather long. So I'm just going to call it the Orient Flight. So this is actually a newer generation of this model, and Orient has actually done away with the older one, and they've done a few things differently here. I actually will not be going over those points because that goes in a little more detail and I really want to keep this short but what I will say is the reason why I picked up this watch is because I didn't have a pilot's watch in my collection I used to have one years ago and I sold it but recently I've been wanting one and so I picked this one up now you're probably asking yourself how much is this watch well you can pick these up for about $145, which I think is very reasonable. Now, originally these were released, and I believe the price or retail on them were about $250 to $280. Bucks. Don't pay that. Um, even coming from a watchmaker standpoint, it's not worth that money. But $140 or even less is definitely worth it. Now, this watch comes with a very simple box and packaging. This is the outer sleeve. This is the inner box. It's very simple, very um, inexpensive, I would say. And I usually don't keep these, but for this one, I may because it's just, you know, it's nice to have the whole package. So the watch originally came on this strap. I found this strap to be fine, but when it comes to watch straps, this is just my personal preference, buy whatever strap you want. But when it comes to watch straps, this is what I always look out for. Is there stitching around the buckle? And when I say around the buckle, I mean right across here. Because that is actually where the strap's going to fail. And this is actually just glued. And that is really where this is just going to fall apart. You can actually see where that strip comes across here. And it's just glued in place. Doesn't last about six months and it just falls apart so I took the strap off I, I wasn't really too crazy about it it was really stiff and I threw it on this NATO strap this is off of a deep blue watch that I had back in the past and I just kept the strap now the watch is 42 millimeters wide and has a 22 millimeter lug width and I have to say it's very very nice it's a great size and very very wearable I'm gonna put it here on my wrist here and just show you how that looks so that is what it looks like on my wrist it's very doable i think it's very manageable especially when you're considering the original pilot's watches were a well a whopping 55 to 60 millimeters in width so i mean that is a huge watch and you can take a look at that right now on the screen it's a rather large watch indeed now this is actually running on the caliber f6722 and that caliber is a very robust and very unadorned caliber movement but it is very serviceable and very easy to work on now this watch does have a mineral crystal has luminous hands which are very very nice and they actually are somewhat um, reflective, but not as matte as the dial itself, which, oh, for me, it's okay. Um, I, I think it could have been a little more matte, but that's fine. There's no anti-reflective crystal on this watch at all, but I will say the watch itself is very easy to read. Now, personally, I wish this was like a 38 or a 39 millimeter watch because I really do feel like the hands should hit the very end of the minute mark. Either the hands need to be longer or the case needs to be smaller. I don't know, one of the two. Now, this watch is actually water resistant to 100 meters and it has a screw down crown you can see the crown there and it is screw down with some threading back there so that is very nice now one of the things I really do like about this watch here is this could be possibly used in a military setting it is really built very well and the case back is a solid case back I personally do not like see-through case backs I mean sometimes there are watches that I buy and you can't help it or it's a dress watch and that's fine excuse me <coughs> sorry about that and sure that's fine but um personally I don't like them because what happens with that is you're adding another gasket <clears throat> here you have one gasket 
in the crystal, you have a gasket in the crown, and then you have a back gasket here. When you have the crystal in the back, you have another gasket to worry about and having to change out during a service. So there's that, but then also you have a crystal in the back. If you drop this watch, you're gonna have a broken crystal in your movement and in all of your parts, and you're gonna have to get it serviced. There's no way around that. So for me, I like having no display backs. This does have a date at three o'clock. Personally, I wish it had no date. I think it would be a little bit of a cleaner dial. And some people have mentioned and this is just other watch reviewers, uh, mentioned that they like a little bit of text down here to even out the dial. Personally, I think it's cleaner having no text right here and it's just the emblem and the Orient logo. Now for me personally, I think this is a great watch, a fantastic watch, and they come in different iterations. I think they have a cream, a blue, and I think they even have a green dial, I'm not sure, but the watches themselves are very good and I find them to be a great value. That's probably why I picked one up, but I also wanted to have a pilot's watch that was affordable. So I thought you guys would enjoy this video. If you did, let me know down below. And if you have this watch, what do you think of it? Do you think it's hit the mark? Do you think it is a clean dial or do you think it should be bigger? I don't know, but let me know in the comments. So till the next one, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.